Revelation 19.16. And he has on his robe and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Prior to his death in 2016, King Bumapun, the King of Thailand, always held an annual speech in December to commemorate his birthday. People from many different walks of life were invited, and everyone who received an invitation received it with great honor, as the Thai monarch was highly respected for the many projects and plans he undertook to benefit the nation. The first year our family was in Thailand, the Thailand mission asked if we would be the representatives for the Adventist Church. Without hesitation, we accepted the invitation. We soon received the official invitation from the palace with instructions of what to do and what was expected in being in the presence of the king and the rest of the royal family. Proper clothing, no cell phones, be on time by being early, all these were on the checklist we received. Of course, there were some things which weren't stated because they went without saying in Thai culture and in reality, common sense in general. Arriving at Chitlada Royal Villa, only a block away from the Bangkok Adventist Hospital where I pastored, we lined up in the queue to enter the reception hall where the king would soon appear. Guards and attendants were everywhere. Guests proceeded through security checks, showing their invitation and ID. In the glass conservatory, refreshments were laid out, and although they were very delicious, they weren't over the top. Enjoying a time of conversation with the other attendees, we were soon asked to take our seats. Finally, King Bumapon made his entrance, the people standing in respect to the king until he was seated, his attendants prostrating themselves in royal fashion as he proceeded to his seat. The king's address was simple, yet direct. All too soon it was over, and everyone headed home, with only the memories of the event to take with them for future days. While all of this is amazing, another amazing thing happens for those who enjoy this time with the king. When you mention being in the presence of the king, an awe comes over those you are talking with. It's almost as if the blessing of being with the king is being transferred to the ones you meet. Now, I realize King Bumapun was just a mere man, and so did he. But there is a king whose presence we have the privilege of entering into every day. That is our Heavenly Father. It is also our privilege as sons and daughters of heavenly royalty to leave the presence of that heavenly throne room, taking the blessings we have received so we can impart them to others we meet throughout the day. It is my hope for 2023 that each one of us will daily seek time with our king, who happens to be the sovereign of the universe and that we will impart the blessings he bestows on each one of us to those we meet in the divine appointments of the day. Maranatha!